<laughs> my friend, my friend, I teach from the 50 all-time classic Ukulele Sonic, Mr. Thomas Ballinger. I am not sponsored, but I do teach from this book, so I enjoy doing these videos. Here we go. We're going to look at page 48. The song is called The John B. Sales, and if you don't know this song, I'm sure you do if you've listened to any music in the 60s, 70s, and 80s by those beat boys. Here we go. It's in the key of G, meaning there's one sharp. That sharp is F sharp. So when we play G major, when we play an A minor, a B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, and then G, those are all of our seven chordal structures in the diatonic chords. So what we're looking at here through this song is three chords, the one, the five, and the four. G major, D major, and C. The melody will determine where these notes go, but the rhythm itself will be very charismatic of what we will normally remember as being the John B. Sales tune. If you dig the way that I teach, please thumbs up, subscribe, put a comment below, and join our music community. Other than that, let's rock and roll. <gasps> Big breath, first measure. I see that key signature, time signature, four, four, four beats per measure, and the quarter note gets the meat. If it was 12-8, that would mean that there are 12 beats per measure and the eighth note gets the beat. Since this is not 2-4, meaning there is a ha uh, the half notes get the beats, yada yada, or 4-2, something like that, you know, this has 4-4, four, four, meaning that first measure, however, only has one quarter note, which means we're missing three beats. When I look towards the last measure, I see a half rest and a quarter rest, means the last three beats are in the last measure. Yay. So... When we say the first measure, we count one, two, three, and then play a D note as the first pickup note to that secondary measure. <gasps> one, two, three, hoist up, John, B, sail, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, three, rest, two, 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 two three, five, Five, three, two, open. Rest, two, open, two. And then we're gonna play that same G again, right here on the three. It's gonna hold out for three beats because it's a dotted half note. One, two, three, rest. The next measure that we're gonna go into is gonna have a rest, rest, which means we're gonna have a, then have a pickup of. So three, open, two, one, sorry, three, open, two, three, G, A, B, C, just the standard movement up, going four notes in a row. When we go to the next note, we're going to be playing a rest, 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 rest. That's right, two rests and a single rest. That is a quarter rest followed by, uh, that quarter rest is following the half rest. So one, two, three. And then we're going to do our outro. Open, open, three, three, two, three. Now these will fit along with the chords and we're going to play those right now. One, two, three. So hoist up the John B. Let me go home. Three. Rest, rest, rest. Let me go home. Two, three. Rest, 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 rest. I feel so break up. Rest. I want to go home. That's the groove. That's how we go through it. But then if you're going to make it sparkle, put some pizzazz by it. Maybe something like, so hoist up all the down notes. We're doing these down strokes. Down, up, rest, down, up, down, 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 down, up, rest, down, up, down. It gives us kind of like this eighth note, eighth note, quarter, eighth note, eighth note, quarter. Quarter, which is super groovy over the top of four. Here we go. I'm going to give it a little more pizzazz with the second verse, same as the verse. One, two, so come on, John B. Sue. Stop. 
key change. Man, no, that'd be a little bit too much. Anywho, I really enjoyed doing this video. I hope you enjoyed it too. Please thumbs up, subscribe, share this with a buddy.